This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Observe and discuss. Look at these pictures children. First we find brinjals here. Those come under the category of vegetables. Then we, said, then we find thread, a bunch of leafy vegetables, milk. There's a gold ring here with some diamonds and we have bundles of cloth. So how are the various articles and materials shown in the picture measured? So how do they think we measure it? We all know, no? vegetables are measured in kilograms or grams. Thread is measured in length. So we can have centimeters or meters. Then we have leafy vegetables, which are measured in bunches. So you'll find bunches of them. Milk is measured in liters. Gold is measured in grams again. But diamond is measured in a different way. It, has, it is called carrots. And cloth is measured in meters. Now let's learn about physical quantity. In day-to-day -day life, we measure many things such as the weight of fruits, vegetables, food grains, temperature of the body or some liquids, volume of liquids, density of various substances, the speed of vehicles, etc. Quantities such as mass, weight, distance, speed, temperature, volume are all called physical quantities. So all these things that we measure, we measure in weight, we measure in volume, we measure the speed, we measure the temperature. So all these measurements are quantities. They are called physical quantities. A value and a unit are used to express the magnitude of a physical quantity. What it means is when we are measuring anything, maybe in weight or maybe in volume, maybe the temperature, maybe the speed, we give them a particular number, isn't it? So that number is a value and that value or unit is called its magnitude and it is expressed in the magnitude of a physical quantity. So magnitude is nothing but a number given to a particular quantity. We assign a particular number to a quantity. Now for example, Swarali walks 2 kilometers every day. Now in this example, 2 is the value and kilometer is the unit. So 2 becomes the magnitude okay, and kilometers becomes the unit is used to express the magnitude of the distance, which is physical quantity. So it's a physical quantity. We can measure it. So therefore, we measure it in, we assign a value to it and a unit is given. So kilometers. Now let's understand what is scalar quantity. A quantity that can be completely expressed by its magnitude alone is called a scalar quantity. Now let's understand this with the example only magnitude that is a value with a unit is expressed is used to express quantities such as length, breadth, area, mass, temperature, density, time, work etc. So most of the things that we have around in our day-to-day -day life we measure them only in the magnitude that is we assign a value along with a unit so that is called a magnitude thus we say that the length of a tunnel is two kilometers the fever temperature is 101 degrees fahrenheit etc so we will assign a number and a unit to it so such measurements are called scalar quantities now there is another way of measuring and which is called the vector quantity. So let's understand it. The quantity that is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction are both given is called a vector quantity. So there is not only magnitude but there is direction also. So in which direction it is moving. So both, both together. If there are two things assigned to a particular quantity then that will be a vector quantity. For example, when we say displacement, we say velocity are vector quantities. For example, a displacement of 20 kilometers towards the north 
okay so when we say that there was a displacement of 20 kilometers so this is a length and this is direction towards the north the aeroplane flying at a velocity of 500 kilometers per hour towards mumbai so here we have the magnitude and the direction so both so magnitude and direction those quantities are called vector quantities now let's understand each of these quantities uh, in detail so let's first understand mass the amount of matter present in a substance is called mass so any substance what it is made of and how much does that matter is present in that particular substance so that forms the mass of the substance so matter has a natural tendency to resist a change in its state which is called inertia so inertia means it is at a particular state unless and until somebody or something doesn't move it okay so it will be there in that particular state so that is called inertia okay so matter has the natural tendency to resist a change so it will not change it will remain as it is until there is a greater force acting on it and moving it so mass is the qualitative measure of the inertia of an object so larger the mass the greater is the inertia mass is a scalar quantity so mass is a scalar quantity because there is only magnitude assigned to it it does not change from place to place anywhere in the world so wherever you can take the mass to it will not change the mass will remain the same wherever you move it to so it does not change at all and the quantities mass and weight are however different now we should understand that mass and weight does not mean the same thing in our general day to day life we always say weight but actually it is the mass we'll understand the difference between the two when we learn about weight so gram and kilograms are units of mass so when we are measuring something when we are weighing something okay so that is mass we are weighing the mass so when we use the two pan common balance okay so the balance Hmm, when we are weighing something you know no? when we go to the shop there is that two pan balance in a shop we are comparing two masses so in one the shopkeeper keeps the weight that has to be measured and in the other it uh, the shopkeeper will keep the things that has to be measured the substance so and then there will be a comparison so try to make it equal isn't it suppose we have to measure one kilo of rice so he'll keep the actual mass of 1 kilo okay that is uh, the you know you get that weights you know? and the other he will put the rice in that and he'll try to compare it and get it to an equal length now let's understand what is weight what we measure in grams kilograms is mass and not weight normally we say weight weight of rice was 1 kilo 2 kilos Hmm. or weight of a person is 45 kilos or 50 kilos or 60 kilos so that is wrong we are actually measuring the mass so what is weight the gravitational force that acts on this mass is called its weight okay so weight is nothing but the gravitational force that acts on this particular substance okay that is how much it is able to pull it down okay so that is called the uh, the weight the gravitational force by which the earth attracts an object towards its center is called the weight of the object therefore weight is a vector quantity remember what is vector quantity vector is both it is it depends on the magnitude as well as the direction so here which direction it is pulling towards the center of the earth so it is different at different places on the earth okay so weight of anything okay maybe a person anything will differ at different places on the earth if you take go to the polar regions it will be different if you come towards the equator it will be different okay so mass and weight are different what we measure in our day-to-day -day life is mass and not weight okay i hope this was this two concepts were clear to you 
use your brain power. Why would the weight of an object be maximum at the poles and minimum at the equator? Why do you think so? Why is the weight of an object at a high altitude less than its weight at the sea level? Think about it. Okay, and to check your answers, you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com. You'll get the link in the description box below. Will it be possible to use one and the same unit to measure physical quantities such as mass, weight, distance, velocity, temperature? Will it be possible to measure everything with the same quantity? No, no it is not possible. In everyday affairs, we measure many different physical quantities. As these physical quantities are different from each other, a specific unit is used to measure each quantity. We have to measure mass, we will measure it in grams or kilograms. Weight, we measure in the gravitational pull. Distance is measured in meters, kilometers. Velocity is nothing but the speed. So, we will measure in meters, kilometers per hour or per second or per minute. Temperature, we know we measure temperature in degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. So, therefore, different units are used while measuring different quantities. Do you know our body has weight because of the gravitational force of the earth so whenever we are talking about our weight say we say 40 kilos 45 kilos 50 kilos or when we somebody asks how what is your weight so it is not the uh, kilograms we shouldn't tell weight means the gravitational force of the earth so the gravitational force of the moon being less our weight will turn out to be less there so if we go to the moon and weigh ourselves the our weight will be much less okay because the gravitational pull over there on the moon is far less okay so our mass however is the same at both the places so our mass will be the same but gravitational pull will be different so therefore our mass will be the same at both the places or anywhere in the world but our uh, the weight will be different that is the gravitational pull will be different at different places this is end of part one for a complete lesson do watch part one two and three you'll get the link in the description box below do solve the exercise that is given at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure you may also enjoy the following videos. You'll get the link in the description box below.